Hello everyone and welcome to another Teacher Joseph podcast. The BBC today is celebrating the centenary of its first official radio broadcast. It was a news bulletin which took place on the 14th of November 1922. There were details of London's fog, as well as uh, crime reports and billiard scores in the very first broadcast. The BBC are very quick to tell us that actually some of those very first broadcasts came from Manchester. I think the reason why they want to tell us this is because the BBC, over the last number of years, has been relocating to Manchester. All of the administration, TV networks, etc., are based in Manchester's media city. And they left London quite some time ago, although the news departments, I believe, are still in London. Many people were very unhappy about the BBC moving to Manchester. So I guess when they tell us, look, many of our earlier broadcasts were from Manchester, is a way of trying to perhaps soften the blow. That's an idiom, which just means to try to soften something difficult. If an early broadcast was from Manchester and they're in Manchester now, they're able to say, look, it's not so bad that we're here. After all, our history was based here. But it seemed a little bit strange that one of our major broadcasters would live or would be based, I should say, outside of London. As I understand, the very first radio transmitter was on top of Selfridges. That's the department store, which is on Oxford Street. Uh, I can't remember if the studio was actually inside Selfridges, but certainly that's where the aerial was. As well as broadcasting from London in 1922, uh, Birmingham's 5IT station broadcast the first official concert, whereas Manchester station 2ZY aired the very first children's show and brought in the first regular weather forecast. Well, you know, British people, we love to talk about weather. The BBC that began broadcasting at 6 p.m. on the 14th of November 1922 was not the British Broadcasting Corporation of today. It was, in fact, the British Broadcasting Company that was made up of separate stations around the country operated by different companies. London 2LO was run by the Marconi Company. Manchester Station was operated by a company called Metropolitan Vickers. However, in these early days, sadly, few records were kept of what was broadcast. And the very first voice of the BBC was someone called Arthur Burroughs. There we are, some interesting news about the the BBC I haven't been up at the new Manchester complex yet, but I hope to get up there at some point to have a look around. But uh, the London TV studios that they had in Wood Lane were very, very famous. And I don't understand why they wanted to leave. I think it was probably, at least partly, because they no longer produced TV shows. BBC TV shows now are done in partnership with private companies who usually have their own studios. After all, the BBC doesn't really have to produce much anymore. So news is still a big thing and it's still 
in London. That's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's talk again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.